people. I'm Ginny Metherell and this is a really special video for you today. What I want to do is a what's in my bag. I do like other people's what's in my bag videos. However, of course, I have a little witchiness going on in my bag because that is how I live my life. So I thought it'd be really fun today just to have a quick go through, see what I've got, any explanations of what's in there. I haven't looked in this bag for quite a long time and that's a bit of a worry because I don't know what's in there. So we'll find out together. So that should be fun. Now this is my bag, my current bag. Don't laugh, I know it's a bit of a granny bag, you know, with the gold. But I bought it several years ago when I thought it would be rather beautiful to have on the beach in some foreign land. And it was, but then I sort of carried on using it because it's quite big and capacious. So I, I like it because it hangs nicely on my shoulder. I do like a shoulder bag as opposed to a clutch. Sometimes I do take a clutch bag with me. For example, you know, when I'm dressed up to go out for the evening, I'll take an evening clutch. And I lose it all the time. And that's slightly annoying, so. It's a bit broken. Yes, I still, I mean, I still like to use it though, and it's a, it's a little bit dirty, but we sort of ignore that, and it's got a very nice, but it's a nice zip, because I need a zip, because that keeps everything in, because quite frankly, there's a lot of rubbish in here, and that's a bit worrying that it's all going to fall out. We're going to enjoy having a look at what's in my bag. I'm probably going to find a few things that I've lost over the years that I haven't seen for a bit. I can't even remember if I've been through my bag. I don't know, things just sort of end up there. Like, oh, occasionally, if I take it to the beach and it gets a bit sandy, I do tip it out and then throw everything back in, sort of regardless of what I'm throwing back in. So, but I haven't done that for a bit. So who knows what's in my bag? Now, in my bag, which I'm a bit worried about, I'm not quite sure what's in there. We unzip and have a look. <gasps> of course, what is this? This is my COVID-19 face covering because I can't stand those horrible masks, you know, the, the white ones that go around here and muzzle you um, because they make me look like, I don't know, they make me look like, I feel like a dog. So I like to have a pretty scarf. This scarf was one of my dear departed mothers. So it's rather nice to, you know, have it with me. It reminds me of her and how she used to wear it, which wasn't obviously over her face like me. So that's my COVID covering. Now what else? Let's have a look. Piece of paper, that's quite exciting, isn't it? Oh, receipt for some makeup. Uh, so I do have red undertones on my skin, so I've got some green toner to uh, calm that down, and a lip primer, and some mascara, because uh, my daughter has stolen all my mascaras, and I don't have them left. No, so actually, that is just a piece of rubbish, really, because I don't need this, it's just some rubbish. I think I'm gonna have a pile over there, rubbish that's my rubbish part right what next oh oh this is something i bought yesterday which i um i'm quite pleased i got to my bag actually because i need to do this it's a drip feed for an orchid my orchid plant uh is not looking very happy at the moment so i thought i'd buy it some food and hopefully it will flower but anyway so that's i'm quite pleased about that that's quite useful next uh of course headache pills i often carry them because uh i get headaches occasionally oh lip gloss i like this stuff this is rather beautiful look it's my lip balm it's got a pink shimmery phase mm. it's a bit old though now i'm not sure how lip balm tastes with salt that's slightly worrying shouldn't be tasting salty should it does lip balm taste salty right what next what's this uh someone's business card not quite sure why i've got this business card it's a wessex dog trialing company oh look more lip balm this is a particularly lovely one actually this is a lip hydration it comes in a little dropper bottle and you drop it onto your lip oh god i dropped it all down my chin that's not very clever is it i'm going to join this i think with the nivea lip balm because they can go together Right, what next? Ah, now we start being a bit witchy. Here is my pack of playing cards. Now, I divine and uh, read playing cards, normal playing cards. And so this is the pack that I use. And what I like to do is I like to spread the pack out when I'm choosing. And then when I'm thinking, you know, depending who I'm with, and I get them to push their hands over the top 
and you can feel the heat from your palm. There's something going on here. That one. The palm heat. Oh, and that one. That one's going to. That's quite hot. And there's something more going on here. Oh, and that one. So these are the three cards that I have chosen for today's video. So let's have a look at them. Ooh. Because when I laid out the cards here and pulled them out, I was thinking about YouTube. And I think this Ace of Clubs is representative of YouTube. And YouTube would like to see me, which is joining with a male warlock or witch. Would you like to see me doing videos with a male warlock? I don't actually know any male warlocks. If you're a male warlock, would you like to message me? Maybe we'll do a video together. Some rubbish. Back to Chris. Oh, I'm a crisp fiend. What else have I got? Ooh. Oh, voucher for 20% off. Don't know if I'll use it or not. At Matalan. Maybe. Well, I'll put that um, in my pile there, maybe. Pair of sunglasses. What do we think of these? This is classic mama sunglasses, as my children say, because they're round. I, apparently, I only buy round sunglasses, which is not true, and I'll prove that. I saw another pair of sunglasses in here. Just, oh look, here we go. And these, oh children of mine, are definitely not round. Which ones do you prefer? Aviator or Green Goddess? So, a couple of pairs of sunglasses. That's pretty standard, I think. There we go, those can go down there. Oh, a pencil, pen. This one probably works, let's have a look. Does it work? Yay! A pen that works. <laughs> They're like gold dust in my house, quite frankly. Uh, oh, a rather manky plaster. Maybe that would go in my rubbish pile. Let's put that in the rubbish pile. I then produced a hairbrush of some Carmex. My green glasses, which are very beautiful, lighter. My yellow glasses, I like these glasses actually, and a fair amounts of rubbish, which were receipts from Tesco's and Matalan. I have no idea what's in this. And I know it's got some sort of potion in it. Some sort of niff. There's normally quite a lot of alcohol in these. Oh, hello, Puss. Cat, what are you doing? Don't go down there. You see my cat's being odd. Well, have you put something down there? Oh, all right then. Cat's being strange. I don't know. I think I've, I'm going to throw the contents of this away, I think. Puss. Because I'm completely unsure what it is. So, this is something really exciting actually. Well, for me, it is my Travelling Witch carry case. So it's got sort of the bare essentials of things that I need when I'm out and about. Or should I be caught short or something happens? Well, let's have a look what's in here. So in here we have, first of all, little tea light for candling. This makes a very good impromptu essential oil burner. So you just light the candle and put a few drops of the oil around and the candle would therefore burn the essential oils and you can use the aromas and the energy from your essential oils and your candle to do your work. So this is, I don't know if you can see it, I'll bring it near, lavender oil. Now lavender oil I use for so many different things. It's a great rejuvenator of the soul. It's a great protection oil. It's lavender will give you cleansing abilities and it's very healing. So I sometimes rub, if I get a headache, I'll rub a bit on my temples just to, you know, bring the headache down. Oh, and this. Now this is part of a smudge stick, but I sort of broke a bit off and I use it because this is white sage, which is very Native American Indian. So what you would do is you light and you see the lovely smoke and then you can use it to waft around your aura and cleanse yourself. Uh, right, what else is in here? Oh, now, these are my crystals and what we've got in here are these rather beautiful selections. So I've got white quartz, hematite, and all these other ones, these different colours, but rather beautiful, including this one, are carnelians. I use the two white quartz and the two hematites as points when I'm casting a circle. So I put them in my quarter points. 
And then I use these when I am defining a pentacle within that circle. So I can create a, a good protective circle from these stones. And I also have, of course, I always get everywhere there are pendulums so you can ask and get a good response. I keep these pendulums cleared, I make sure I use them all the time and that their energy is pure. Um, I've also got a, I've got a box. Uh, don't really know what that's in there for. Ah, now, here is my bottle of moon water, which is mixed with alcohol to keep it fresh, essentially, because I'm trying to trap the moon's, well, not trying to, I am trapping the moon's energy into this water slash alcohol mix so that I can use it in any off-the-cuff spell. But this is rather a pretty bottle, isn't it? I use moon water in lots of things, you know, I might sprinkle it around a circle, I might drill it over my aura, because you're taking the moon energy from moon water and putting it into your spells. So I have a little pot of moon water and moon energy with me at all times. Oh, and that is the end. <laughs> no more in that little bag. Rather, that was my bag of witch items, which I carry with me so that I can use them at a pinch. And I can cast pretty much most spells with these, but this is sort of an instant spell kit. And I highly recommend anyone who does spells has one with them. So I've got my wallet and in my wallet is a selection of cards uh, and some change. Oh, and I've got, look at this, this is a red jasper. And this is in my wallet with my change because red jasper brings you cash. And so I'm going to attract money to my wallet with my red jasper. I've almost got all the stamps for my Waterstones card, which I'm quite excited about because I get a free book, I think, and I'm bearing store cards. But that is my wallet. Hand sanitizer. Oh, another pair of glasses. Aren't they hideous? A nail file. And oh, this, you always have to have a hairband. So important to keep your hair up and out of the way. Oh, look, lovely, always have some lip gloss. This is rather a nice lip gloss. Mm. What do we think? Does it suit me? And <laughs> this is a ring. Which I showed this to my sister and I said, what do you think of my ring? And she said, that's the most hideous thing I've ever seen in my whole life. But I think it's beautiful. What do you think? Another pen and this is my book of words. In it, it's sort of almost half a grimoire and half a just list book. Anyway, so that's my book of words, which I write stuff down because then I know I can't lose it because bits of paper tend to fly away, but books of words don't. It's some rather lovely hand cream that my daughter gave me at Christmas, which I haven't actually opened. Honey and almond, who would have thought? Gosh, let's see the way it goes in. You never know with hand cream, do you? Sometimes it can be really um, sticky doesn't absorb into your skin properly. Actually, this is rather nice. Oh, I shall use that. I think I'll take that out of my bag and put that somewhere else. Right, what else have we got? Oh, here's the dregs at the bottom. I've got a clip, a button. Oh, I've got a bead and a, a couple of bits of change. So I'm gonna just put that in my wallet. Oh, another pen, of course. Emergency supplies. Gosh, that was the contents of my bag. Well, looking at my bag, I'm impressed with the amount of glassware, <laughs> glasses wear, I should say, that I've got, and also lip products I seem to be very into, and pens. I'm quite pleased with the fact that I've got both hand sanitizer and my COVID scarf in my bag. See, I didn't really realise that I was that organised, so I'm impressed with myself. And there's some in it, which is also impressive, because normally things like that are empty. That is my bag haul. <laughs> Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.